What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. So we have been using iOS 18.5 beta 4 since it was released back on Monday. It is now Saturday and I want to give you some of our takeaways in regards to this beta and also watchOS 11.5. So first things first, if you missed our initial video on that, jumping into settings general about this beta does carry an A build, which typically signifies that Apple is satisfied with this build and it is ready for the public release in the very near future. Usually after an A build, we'll receive the RC and we'll talk about release timing here in a few minutes, but just know this typically means Apple feels like this beta is it and this should be for the majority what we should expect to see coming soon for the next full release. Now, beyond that, one thing that does typically come in new betas with 18.5 or 17.5 or 16.5 before that is new wallpapers. So we don't have a hint of those yet in the OS. However, when the RC drops, most likely next week, we should see a couple of new wallpapers and this has been found in strings in the back end already with a little bit of descriptions, but we'll leave that as a surprise for next Monday for you guys to see. As far as performance and how everything's really been going on this beta, I will say everything has been somewhat fluid. You can see how well and how quickly everything is really jumping into the apps you need. If you do like to play video games, I haven't seen any frame rate drops throughout the OS, specifically if you're playing any games. Everything has been pretty good here, and you can see just jumping around, everything has been pretty fluid. Beyond that, though, as well, there has not been any springboard refreshes in this whole beta cycle, which is very nice to see. You never know how it has been in the past, so this is great to see nonetheless. Again, no real new feature-wise. The big takeaway, if you are an Apple Watch user and an iPhone user, I'm happy to say that notifications have been syncing much better. So when you're receiving it on your iPhone, there's no longer a 5, 10, 15 second delay coming on the Apple Watch, which is very nice to see. I can't tell you how annoying it is to see a notification on my phone before it actually hit my watch or not even getting notified that it's come. Beyond that, also talking about this release cycle here. So we fully expect 18.5 RC to drop on Monday, Cinco de Mayo, which is just in a couple days from now. And I do feel like this beta is ready to go. It's the most polished and it seems to be the most consistent. Battery life has been pretty similar in regards to the whole beta cycle. So nothing really new here or any concerns. It is what it is. But more importantly, probably on the 6th or next Monday on the 12th, we should receive iOS 18 0.6 beta 1 and this should be a very short-lived beta cycle because as we know on June 9th we will receive the first beta that everyone's waiting for with iOS 19. This will be for WWDC at the kickoff so that'll be very interesting and hopefully it'll all be good to go with that. So keep in mind a couple of days RC should be coming for iOS. And now, like I said, jumping back to watchOS really quickly, I am happy to say that performance has been good. Like we said, no real issues as far as scrolling, not crashing. Everything has been consistent when jumping through, again, apps like we usually always do and show you. Um, it's been good. The one call out is the charging and battery life here. So when I say charging, it has been very interesting that even if you set it to 80% max, it doesn't charge to 80% all the time. It's been very weird where it'll go to like 79%. And you can see it's early in the morning here. And we just took it off the charger. And here you go. It's still at 78%. When I pulled it off, it was at 79 And that alludes me to my next point where battery life has been somewhat of an issue. I have not seen steady battery life. It is barely getting me through a day still. And even though it's an Apple Watch Ultra 2, I have only 96% capacity left in this, and it's been a bit of a struggle. So that's the real big call out right now with watchOS 11.5 beta 4. Hopefully the RC will fix that, uh, but we'll have to see what happens with that. Otherwise, everything has been consistent. It's been very smooth. As you can see, scrolling's not been an issue. Jumping around has been good. Notifications have been timely, so that's really it. Just wanted to give you guys a heads up on iOS and watchOS latest betas. 
Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.